Thank you all for the overwhelming love and support that you have shown me today. I am very humbled by this massive show of support. I would like to thank my dear and beautiful wife, Samir. my friends and my team and all of you for the support you have given me all of these years. God bless you all. Dear friends, I have just filed my nomination to contest as flag bearer of the new patriotic party. This is the first step to our victory in 2024 by the grace of God. This is a very important day in my life. From Sakasaka Primary School in Tamale to Tamale Secondary School to Oxford University to the Bank of Ghana as Deputy Governor and then to become Vice President of the Republic of Ghana. It has been an amazing journey and I thank God for how far he has brought me. Dear friends, it has not been an easy journey. It has taken a lot of hard work, discipline, and patience to get here. I have walked to school growing up in Moshizongo in Tamil. I have been a by day worker on farms during holidays in secondary school. I have been a warehouse boy even after finishing university. I have been a mini cab driver. I was only able to pay fees for one term during my studies at Oxford University. And I had to survive for the rest of my studies without paying fees, thanks to my college. I only settled my fees in arrears after I started work following my completion of my PhD in Canada. I have also been a cleaner of dormitories in my university day in Canada. So, I can say that I have not had it easy at all. But I have always believed that with hard work, honesty, discipline, faith in God Almighty, one can fulfill one's potential. My life experience tells me never to take anything for granted and always to have respect for people, 
no matter their stature in life, no matter how big or small they are, the cleaner or the driver you meet today to be the vice president or the president tomorrow. I care about the poor. I care about the vulnerable and the excluded. I care about the lepers. I care about the sick. I care about sickle cell suffering. I care about cancer patients. I care about the disabled. I care about the kayaye. I care about the sweet children. And I care about the unemployed amongst others. This is the true essence of life to address the problems of the weakest amongst us and to help lift them themselves up. I am not afraid of hard work. In fact, I enjoy hard work. Yes. Yes. My experience in life tells me that honesty and hard work pays. I work hard for His Excellency President J. Kufour as Deputy Governor of the Bank of Ghana and I have worked hard as Vice President in assisting the President, His Excellency Nana Adonankwa Akufuadu to achieve his vision. Together, we started the process of transforming Ghana into a country ready for the fourth industrial revolution. I brought honesty, hard work, dedication, and discipline to my role as Vice President. Notwithstanding the economic challenges of our time, our government has constructed more infrastructure than any other government in the fourth republic. And many transformational policies have been introduced for the first time in our history, including the issuance, mass issuance of the Ghana card, the digital address system, mobile money interoperability, delivery of medicines by drone, one district, one factory, planting for food and jobs, social development fund, agenda 111, free TVET, free SHS, to mention just a few. We have also created over 2 million jobs in six years, more than any other government in the Fourth Republic. My dear friends, having implemented these transformational policy initiatives, it is very important that we don't go backwards as a country. We cannot put this country back in the hands of people who don't have an understanding as and a belief in this vision. That is why it is important for us to break the AIDS. There is still so much more to do. My dear friends, I have my own vision for Ghana. I believe that it is time to move Ghana to the next level by building on the foundations we have put in place so far. Together with you, I want to see a Ghana where we leverage technology, data and systems for inclusive economic growth. I want to make Ghana the digital hub of Africa. I want us to bring the digital divide and apply digital technology and artificial intelligence for the transformation of healthcare education and public service delivery amongst others. Together with you, I want to see a Ghana with an education system tilted towards STEM, robotics, 
artificial intelligence, digital and vocational skills to cope with the demands of the fourth industrial revolution. Together with you, I want to see a Ghana where we cater for the poor, the vulnerable, the excluded, and the sick. Together with you, I want to see a Ghana where we attain food security in the shortest possible time. Through the application of science and data and irrigation to commercial farms. We also want to complete the ongoing digitalization of all farms across the 16 regions. The data on all farms. Together with you, I want to see a Ghana where we maximize the benefits from our natural resources like gold, lithium, and other minerals through policies like value addition, setting up a LPMEA certified gold refinery, enhancing the gold for oil policy, and dedication of specific gold concessions to the Bank of Ghana to enhance the accumulation of gold concessions. Together with you, I want to see an industrialized nation. I want to entrench and enhance the current strategy of industrialization that we have embarked on and also introduce new technology like digital manufacturing for the manufacturing of spare parts, syringes and other equipment. Together with you, I want to see a Ghana with robust fiscal discipline in the management of our public finances to sustainably and significantly reduce our interest rates. Together with you, I want to see a Ghana with an empowered local business sector, especially startups and SMEs, to drive investment and growth. We will transform the SME life landscape by providing unique identifiers and using technology to help them access new financing and new markets. I also want to provide incentives to the private sector to replace government in the provision of a significant amount of infrastructure and many other services. My dear friends, together with you, I want to see a Ghana with a developed and efficient credit system through credit scoring of by credit reference agencies by leveraging on the integrated databases across banks, the DVLA, NIA, digital address systems, and so on. This will enable workers to have credit to buy furniture, cars, TVs, fridges, and homes on mortgages at lower cost. Together with you, I want to see a Ghana with energy self-sufficiency at reduced cost through solar and other renewables with the application of market efficiency to the energy market. Together with you, I want to see an enhanced focus on private and public investment in tourism, in creative arts, and in sports. This is not an exhaustive list, and in due course, by the grace of God, we will have a chance to lay out a comprehensive manifesto for Ghanaians. My dear friends, over the last 22 years, I have worked hard for the new patriotic party and for Ghana. From, from during the President Kufour era, as Deputy Governor of the Bank of Ghana, through our years in opposition yes. and now in government. Yes. During this period, I have sacrificed for the past. Yes. I have defended the past. Yes.
And I have built a solid track record.